In campaign 2020, the Iowa Democratic Party released results from the state's caucuses nearly 24 hours late. When vote numbers finally came in, they showed Pete Buttigieg and Bernie Sanders in the lead. Organizers blamed the delay on a coding glitch in a phone app the party developed to report the vote count. That's why what happened last night is simply unacceptable. The chairman of Iowa's Democratic Party apologized for the delay in results from Monday's caucuses. Then came the news. In the state delegate race, Pete Buttigieg is on top, followed by Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Joe Biden is fourth. When totals finally came in, Buttigieg reacted to the news. It validates for a kid somewhere in a community wondering if he belongs or she belongs or they belong. Speaking on his way to New Hampshire, Sanders shared his frustration at the delay. Obviously, uh, I am disappointed. I suspect I could speak for all the candidates, all of their supporters and the people of Iowa. Presidential campaigns moved on to New Hampshire while Iowa's Democratic officials were sorting out an epic meltdown, blaming a coding issue for the delay. In the midst of uncertainty, the candidates tried to make the best of it. What an amazing night we had last night. I'm someone that thrives in chaos. You want a steady hand in chaos, right? Because of the technical glitch, staffers went to each caucus site to cross-check hard copy results and make sure the numbers were right. Joe Biden was shut out of the lead after hitting an optimistic note earlier. But I feel really good about getting more than our fair share. Iowa precincts said they did not get to test the new technology ahead of Monday's caucus, and the delayed results were a glaring embarrassment for the state that prizes its role as the first contest in the primary season. Next up, the New Hampshire primary, which takes place next Tuesday.